We have been uh, using this coffee machine for a number of years. It is, uh, has been working uh, very well. Uh, but suddenly, a few days uh, back, we have this indicator uh, not working anymore. So the indicator, this is off, this is on. The indicator should be on when you put it on. And when it's on, it's going to make coffee. And after the uh, coffee made, it's going to keep warm. All the time, you have the indicator. So you'll know it's still on. Uh, but now the indicator stopped working. So when you turn it on, it's no longer on. So we can just uh, uh, see, try to plug it in here. So uh, it's the sound position, plug it in. And if we try this switch, so there's uh, no indicator on. So we're going to try to find out if we can uh, fix this LED. So now looking at the uh, structure of this uh, base, uh, so we can see we got some uh, uh, number of uh, screws that we can do, but it seems that this top switch part can be removed by removing this two screw here. So we're going to try to remove this two screw. After remove the two screw, and uh, this part just uh, uh, from the edge, I used uh, uh, some tools to uh, price up this top part. And you can see uh, in this part, there are two taps, one here and one on the other side to clip uh, into the base of the machine. And uh, inside there is the switch. So the switch, if you squeeze two sides, it can become out. And there are three plugs. So we're going to unplug and test the switch. To remove the plug, you have to uh, remove the plastic cover first. And then you can see uh, there is a tab over there. If you say this side, so the tab is just uh, holding the top of the, of the connector. So in here, you can see there is a, there the press down part, and that will hold the plug to the connector. So you need to uh, press that small tab, and then pull out the plug. So that small tab, so you can see, uh, I can press it here. So you press it uh, out, then pull it out. So you can press it out and then pull it out. Okay, I'm going to use two hands to do that. Now I have a pull it out. Just to have a, a, another a quick look here. See, you can see the, the tab. It's over there. And in the middle part of that, that's holding the plug to the connector. So you can see the connector uh, there the hole. There the hole on that connector. This plug, the they tap just to hold that hole, the small hole. So that's holding the plug to the hole in the connector. I find another way to remove the plug. So you can see uh, the plug here. That's actually the tack position. So when you remove it, you just uh, press here, the tack down, and then remove the plug. So you, this method, you don't have to uh, remove the plastic uh, cover. You just uh, press here and pull it out. To remove the switch, just to press the two sides of the switch and pull it out. You may need to wiggle a bit to really make it out. So I have uh, make it out this way. So you can see here, there are two tabs on both sides. So you can just uh, squeeze the two sides and uh, push the switch the whole off. 
if you see the holder so we have the two sides this side and the opposite side there is the uh, cut for the two types so you can see that one so you can change a uh, switch uh, in this way and after you get the new switch just uh, position it here and push it down and the tap will be up to hold the switch in the plate panel Now, so have a look at the uh, switch number, the part number. So it's XB898. There are three connectors. XB898, 6 amp, 250 volt AC, or 10 amp, 120 volt AC. So that switch, uh, we can try to order switch and uh, change the switch. It would be difficult to change the light or repair the light because this is the one piece. You can't dismantle this one anymore. I just searched the eBay. Uh, seems I couldn't find the switch uh, exactly uh, like this. If I can't find, I may just uh, deal with the and no indicator or other parts of the machine working so to install switch you just uh, put it uh, locate the the two taps over there and the other side of course and press it into position so that's how to install the switch back to the control panel so then we're going to plug them in uh, just uh, here so you just uh, plug them in push it in it will be okay